What's up, everyone? Pitching Twitter, Pitching Ninja. I want to appreciate you all for um, creating a sense of community online. Um, I've torn my UCL twice. I've had Tommy John surgery once. I'm retired from professional baseball. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Troy Rawlings. I went to the University, University of Washington. I'm from Southern California. Um, and as you can see, I, I, I bleed purple and gold. I've got uh, tons of Husky pride. Um, I've had a hard time since retiring from the game, about back in June, uh, really finding my, my purpose beyond the game. Um, so I'm shooting this video today uh, because pitching Twitter and the sense of community has given me the opportunity, um, or has, has, has said yeah, said yeah, we wanna hear uh, some of the different ways that you were able to be successful. Um, and I hope to inspire the youth and that somebody out there somewhere can take something from this. Um, when I was in college, uh, I was known as I was a sinker ball guy. I was 88 to 91, and I ended up reaching the highest level of the game. At one point in time, for 13 consecutive weeks to start the season, uh, I was first in ERA, WHIP, and saves. Um, I managed to do that without the big velo as a closer who threw a lot of innings. Um, I got there through a lot of hard work, and I want to make more videos in the future. Hopefully, if you guys like this, uh, where I can get into a lot more of that, um, and this be my this be one of the ways that I can give back to the game instead of trying to run from a lot of the things that I personally felt, um, you know, with the game. I uh, didn't have an easy retirement. Retirement's not easy. But, um, so I just wanted to kind of take you guys into my closet. This is my, where the video is being filmed in my room. Um, so if you guys want to just take a look, like, you know, I want to show everyone out there that, like, it's, it's, you're capable of, you know, graduating from college, being the most dominant pitcher in the Pac-12, being recognized as a first-team All-American, um, you know, and and more so than just the numbers or the trophies it, it are the stories and the memories and the the sense of accomplishment, knowing that like when you go forward in life, whether you make it in professional baseball or you make millions of dollars right away in your early 20s, that like you can you can come home with something that you're proud of that shows your work ethic that you can then take forward throughout the rest of your life. Um, so this video today is mostly about. We're, we're, I'm just going to discuss the different grips. I threw uh, a main main combination of sinker, slider, changeup, um, and so I'm gonna we're gonna walk out here. Um, so my main pitch that I developed was uh, my sinker. So I um, it was a bit of an accident really for how I developed it. I threw a standard two seam in high school, but I used to get. A really bad blister on the inside of my finger. I got really sweaty hands. I would always rub dirt on it. But from throwing off of the seam, I would just like my arm, my, my finger would, my finger would be more sore than my arm would be after throwing a complete game. So what I did is just for feel reasons, I switched over. I moved on to the inside of the seam you see there, and then instead of having my thumb under like a traditional fastball, so I have my fingers moved. And then I brought my thumb from about here all, all the way up to here. Now, still still getting some, some decent feel on the ball. You still want to be able to have some pressure and be under it. But the concept with the sinker, so actually, I just gripped this accidentally. I just, I was trying to throw something that was a little bit more comfortable. And what ended up happening is instead of having a real lateral two-seam motion, just a really heavy late-moving sink. So instead of, and I really think this, the thumb on the side is the key to that because it allows you to get on over the ball when you come in and say you've got a like I had a lower excuse me I had a lower three-quarter arm angle so I'm coming here and then when I reach and got out front these two fingers were dominating this half of the ball and created more of a downward motion than say a lateral um, and the lateral motion is great I feel for a lot of strikeouts because you can start it on the hip and run it back but the sinker is just a phenomenal pitch um, you know, especially, you know, it, it can be very difficult to command that's one thing for sure but um, if you can Get that thing working in the bottom of the zone, man. You can get a lot of ground balls. Let your defense work, quick outs, and not give hitters a whole lot that they want to hit. Because overall, as a sinker ball guy, what I learned is that hitters want to be heroes. Like everybody wants to be the guy that drives in the home run at the bottom of the ninth. Um, and so if you can give them something that looks like it's gonna be right down the middle and sinks, you know, gives you a couple inches and it's moving downward with a low spin rate. Um, so yeah, so my 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 trick was. Moving the finger off to the side, and then it's, when I, whenever I would get too far under the ball, 
I wouldn't get, I wouldn't be able to pronate fully and I would, it, it would end up cutting. And so the main thing for me was moving the thumb up to the inside of the ball. Didn't try and put any unnatural pressure on the ball. Um, and just kind of actually gripped it sort of freely and loosely. And then if you'll watch from here, when I came to in the glove, instead of having it up, I, I sort of slightly presetted my wrist. So that instead of having to think about pronating or anything like that, it just, it naturally set the angle that I wanted it to come out on so that I could pronate through it. Um, my opinion, quick shout out to, uh, <laughs> I wanted to give a quick shout out to the Husky, the, the, the dude that um, my, my, uh, my camera person right here, we met or we started talking basically off of an in interaction of, hey, I knew you played Husky baseball. I saw Joe Demers through a perfect game. I wanted to give all the love in the world to Joe Demers and JK. You know how to call a perfect game, so that's something special too. So shout out to both of you. Shout out to the Washington Huskies and everybody out there. Uh, the college season's underway. Uh, college baseball, I played a little bit of pro ball. College ball is the real deal, man. That's as, it's as good as it gets. It's the passion, it's the energy. So everybody, I just want to encourage you to go out there and play hard. Um, and so, all right, so we'll move over to the slider grip. So most people, so I worked off of the inside of the seam and I had problems for a while uh, where, it would, where, it would, where it, would, it would spin out the side. It would back up on me. So one of the things that I did, I've got just kind of, you know, I've got, I'm a bigger handed individual. So I split my fingers just a little bit. And I felt like I was really trying to throw the pitch. I was trying to get on this side of it. Um, and I felt that like I didn't really need this finger to help me get, get down and to spin it. Um, so I really used more of the index finger as a guide. Um, and, and all I really thought about was having to just get out front because the, the way I set my grip naturally, and again, when I would preset in the glove, thankfully very few teams would pick up on it. But instead of being here where I would be on my sinker, I would be a little bit more tight so that I could stay on top and through the side of it and the grip itself, this finger is just guiding it to make sure it doesn't spin out and I can be more consistent with it. Am I maybe sacrificing two, three inches of break? Quite possibly, but to have a significant more amount of feel and, a, and, a, and consistency with where my slider was gonna go, I felt that it was in my better interest to in terms of feel to move the pitch over a little bit and make it more repeatable. Now my changeup is going to be the grip that's going to blow all of your minds. And the changeup was the pitch that took me absolutely the longest to develop. I started trying to throw it beginning of freshman year and it wasn't ready until I'd say maybe five weeks in, into season my junior year. So like it was a ginormous work in progress. I, I was a, I threw off of the two seam, you know, with my sinker. So Forever, I tried to throw, you know, the the traditional off of you know, the traditional circle change, um, off of the off of the two seam, um, and for me it was just something that we'd either get too deep in the ball, I would cut it. I had a really difficult time making it repeatable. Like I didn't have great feel for it. I would spike it. It would flatten out, and it would just as much as I could use it to get left handers out because I'm sinking it and sliding it, which is really effective to right handers, but. The changeup was the pitch that changed my life, obviously for left-handers, and it takes a lot longer to learn to throw out to right-handers, at least for me to be comfortable with that. Um, but it gave me, it gave me a really good answer uh, to left-handers because my slider, I, I, it takes a long time, and it takes a lot of experience to develop bearing it on the back foot slider. I maybe threw three in the course of my entire career. It's a tough pitch to execute, especially when you're a closer in big game moments. You know, you don't. You're not able to take as many chances. So what I ultimately ended up doing, I took my sinker grip and I just replaced it with these two, replaced it with the two fingers. And then the thumb, this finger, I tried not to get too deep with the circle or too deep on the ball with it because I felt like the change up, I wanted to hold like an egg in my hand, the finger pressure. I just wanted it to be really light. I wanted to have good feel for it. And since I threw my sinker off the inside of the seam. I figure I just move my other fingers over and then again, the thumb up on the side and then just tuck the finger really lightly. The pinky, light enough pressure to where it really is almost barely even touching the ball. Maybe you're touching your index finger just gently to, for some feel, but um, yeah. And then the main thing with that, like the grip was so important that I just held it lightly. I thought about 
Okay, so uh, every action has an e equal and opposite reaction. So with my front side, if I wanted to get better extension through my mechanics, if I'm normally here, I'm thinking about kind of trying to reach out a little bit more so that it causes me to reach out further with the change up. And again, the grip presets, so the pressure, excuse me, the pressure is on the inside of the ball, is all along these three fingers. And I'm not putting very much, but just the weight of my hand and where I'm holding the ball allows me to then, when I reach out and I come through, I naturally get more extended. Where I would run into problems is when I wouldn't get full extension, the ball would come out and it would cut. I wouldn't get, when I would get really extended on it, I could get a very, almost emulating um, movement to my sinker. It, it would be more, um, and it wasn't even so much about the movement as much as it was making it look the same, giving the hitter another thing to think about. Um, and eventually it progressed into a pitch I could use, but on the days where it wasn't there, because we all as pitchers know, some days you've got two pitches, some days you've got three, some days you've got the pitch you don't normally have, some days you got the pitch you just tweaked with the grip the, the, in warm-ups beforehand. You know, so you never know quite what you're gonna have every day. Um, but for me, just being able to show that pitch as a show pitch and then eventually throwing it over and over and over and over, like I told you guys, me two two years to figure the two and a half years to figure this pitch out um but when it did it changed my life it was the real equalizer uh it allowed me to get left handers out and be able to to be able to throw a one one pitch when you've thrown a sinker and a slider to a guy you go on the outside over the plate oh two where do you go from there how do you get the guy out if you if you're not super confident to be able to get him out with your change up you can at least show it and then you can come back with something else um I hope in the future, I hope you guys like this video. Um, give me some feedback. Follow me at Troy Rawlings on Instagram and Twitter. I don't get on Facebook very much. Um, but uh, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to do more videos. If you guys have any more ideas for me, um, they'd be something I would be very much interested. So please let me know what you think. Um, and thank you for the encouragement uh, to get myself up to do these kinds of videos.